Hi, my name is Bill Milford, and it's my pleasure to give you this brief overview of the world of social work and the social work program here at Thomas University. I'm the division chair for the program, and would be happy to talk with you about it anytime you'd like to come around and have a conversation about social work or our program. So let's take a look at some of the aspects that make social work kind of a unique profession to go into. And in order to do that, I think we sort of have to understand and think about the terms social and work. So if you think about social, social means people. And social workers work with individuals, they work with families, they work with groups, they work with communities and organizations, they work with children, geriatrics, the whole lifespan that is our client base. And the reason we call it work is because it's hard. It's not always easy kind of work. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's digging the ditch kind of hard work. It means that sometimes it's very, very challenging because the clients that we're dealing with are folks that have multiple challenges and sometimes limited resources with which to deal with them. So our job is to help meet them where they're at and help move them forward in life. So to do this, let's take a look at a guy named Bob, okay? Let's say Bob was a computer programmer and he started to have some mental health problems or some substance abuse problems, things, lost his job, got depressed, and uh, he comes to us for some assistance. So he goes to a good social worker like me, or eh, maybe not like me, let's, let's choose a nice social worker like Sonia. So let's say he goes to Sonia and he's trying to get some help. Well, Sonia is pretty smart. One of the things she's going to know is that Bob has already been tried to get help from a number of people in his life. And those people, we're going to presume that they're pretty smart in and of themselves. So first of all, Bob's wife may have tried to help him. Bob's family may have tried to give him assistance. His relatives, people at work, his friends and his neighbors. He may have gone to his pastor for assistance, and the pastor may have hooked him up with people in his congregation who might have helped him out. In fact, he may have even gone to his doctor to try to see you know, medically what's going on with him. All of these people may have given him some smart advice and led him to services that in, in his community that might have been able to provide assistance to him. But for some reason, those things weren't working for him. So if we're thinking about this, here we got Bob who's a pretty smart guy and we've got all these resources and people that he knows that are pretty smart yet they haven't been able to assist him. So we've got to think to ourselves if Bob is smart and the people around him are smart and Bob is still stuck then we gotta do something different because if it was easy to help Bob somebody else would have done it. Well social workers are the some the, the other folks that have a different strategy in order to provide assistance for people. Social workers think in a different way. We know that those other people had good intentions and they may have given Bob a lot of advice, but that advice didn't work for him. So we take a different strategy. Social workers collaborate. They meet people where they're at and they're going to try to create a strategy that is doable something that will eminently get this person some success in their life in order to do a, a strategy that works for him. So we believe in pie. And it's not the mathematical pie or this good pumpkin pie here pie. It's the kind of pie that says we believe in the person in environment perspective. And that person in environment perspective says we have to understand people and the world that they live in in order to be able to help create sustainable change for them. So to do that, Sonia is going to say, well, I need to understand Bob. I got to know what his family's like, what his neighborhood's like. All those people tried to help him. Sonia wants to know who they are and what they're all about and also understand why their assistance didn't work for him. She's got to understand all the variables in Bob's life in order to collaborate with him so they both can create a plan that will work for Bob to help him get to where he needs to in order to achieve success. So making a doable plan, one that is going to be successful for Bob, is the real work of social work. Collaborating with people that have challenging issues is what social work is all about. And so that's why we say in social work, we're more about 
getting good outcomes than we are having good intentions. Because if you're hungry and somebody has the best intention to help you but doesn't get you food, it doesn't help you very much. So social workers are about results. Helpers are about good intentions. Social workers are about good outcomes. So to do this, what we try to help our students learn are various strategies and ways of thinking about the world that can help us to meet Bob and understand how to create a plan for him that's going to work for him. So to do this, you take some great classes. Introduction to social work, cultural diversity, ethics, social welfare policy, under, understanding big social welfare uh, programs like Medicaid, Medicare, unemployment, the Affordable Health Care Act. You do human behavior in the social environment, which is like a lifespan development class where you learn how social workers help people all the way from infancy up to geriatrics. We understand we want to be professional, so we want to understand good social work research and how to evaluate the good work that we do. And you also take a practice class, four different practice classes, that will help you learn how to help individuals, families, do small group work, and to also deal with communities and organizations. And then in your senior year, social work students have great experiences because they go out and they do internships for both the uh, fall and spring semester. 200 hours each semester where you're working in a social service agency under the guidance of a professional social worker, which gives you great experience and gets you a job on your resume so that when you graduate, you can get you can uh, go out and have professional experience that you can show to people that demonstrates you are already a proven professional out doing work. And during your social work practice time, you'll also experience the ability to write grants, to uh, participate in community projects, to crea help create change in your agency and the community around you so that you can experience what it's like to do the change uh, process for clients for yourself in, in the world around you. So consider social work if you are the kind of person that wants to help folks out, if you're willing to change yourself in order to help change others, because a lot of times this means shifting your perspective on things. We do a lot of communication work and a lot of documentation, so we need good writers and good communicators, and we need people who are hip with computers because our, we have a hybrid program and a lot of documentation in human services right now is used, utilizes the computer. So if you're not hip, we want to get you there. But mostly we want you, if you're interested in becoming the change yourself, if you are interested in going through a transformative experience that can help you assist others. So your next step is to come see us. Come visit us over here in the uh, social work program. We're in the Smith Bonvillian building up here in Thomasville, or you can just give me a call at my office number, 800-538-9780. Four, extension 1123 or shoot me an email at bmilford at thomasu.edu. We'd love to talk with you further about social work and welcome you into our program. Thanks very much. Appreciate your time.